Manfred, the Prince of Otranto. He is married to Polita. And these are Matilda and Conrad, their son and daughter. Conrad is going to marry Isabella, and Isabella's father, Frederico Vincenza, has been away in the Crusades and he is supposed to be dead. However, on the wedding day, a helmet crashed on Conrad, which causes his death. And this event sets up the following action, the curse. There is a prophecy regarding Manfred's family that no one really understands this very well, but it says, the castle should pass from the present family whenever the real owner should be grown too large to inhabit it. Manfred, terrified that the prophecy is beginning to come true, decides to force Isabella to marry him and thus half a nail. Isabella, horrified of this situation, escapes with the help of a young peasant called Theodore, who has been in prison for confronting Manfred earlier in the story. Remember when we earlier mentioned that Conrad was found dead because a helmet crashed on him? Well, among the crowd, there was this young person, Theodore, who muses that the helmet is the one of Alfonso's statue. So, although Manfred has no reason to truly suspect that Theodore has killed his son, he blames him anyway and imprisons him. So, now that you know this, let's continue where we stop. So, Isabella escapes with the help of Theodore and they escape to a church where they meet Friar Theodore. Meanwhile, Manfred, still looking for Isabella, he orders the death of Theodore. The day of Theodore's death, when he removes his shirt to be killed, Friar Jerome, due to a scar that Theodore has, he recognizes him as his son. So he begs for his son's life. Manfred offers to spare him in exchange for Isabella. In that moment, they are interrupted by the entrance of knights from another kingdom who want to deliver Isabella. This lets the knights and Manfred to race to find Isabella. Theodore, who is locked in a tower, is freed by Matilda. Theodore arrives to the church where Isabella is hidden in order to protect her, but suddenly the knight arrives and ends up fighting. Theodore badly wounds the knight, who turns out to be Isabella's father, Frederick. Yes, Frederick, you have heard well, the man who supposedly was dead. Well, it turned out that he was not dead. In fact, in the story, he had a vision where he sees her daughter in danger. Help, help, help. So, he decided to go to Otranto and help her. After knowing that the injured one is Isabella's father, she and Theodore go back to the castle with Frederick. Once in the castle, Frederick recovers, and when he sees Matilda, he is attracted to her. Oh, what a beautiful girl! So Manfred tries to make a deal with Frederick. The deal is that Frederick can marry Matilda only if Isabella will marry Manfred. However, Matilda is not in love with Frederick, but with Theodore. Manfred believes that Isabella will be meeting Theodore in the church. But it is actually Matilda who is meeting with Theodore. The story finishes with this tragic event, and Theodore revealed to be the prince of Otranto and marries Isabella.